I could play you a different video. So I could do the last 30 minutes of that, or I could play you a much longer, but different video, which is along the same lines as that video. It's his, it's his pit, it's his, uh, him pitching and uh, promoting his get rich quick, quick scheme, squick, get rich quick scheme called Six Figure Sunday. Different video. Lewis is voting different video. I suppose that wins. Now I'm going to warn you, this video is an hour and 15 minutes long. I'm not guaranteeing I will get through all of it. I will try as best I can. Else, Now, I'm going to warn you now. I know you might have, some of you lot might be, you know, might have think that you have seen you know, and witnessed some great, you know, ac acting performances, you know. You might have seen Brando in Apocalypse Now, De Niro in Taxi Driver, you know, Nicolas Cage in Wicker Man. You've seen great cinematic performances and, you know, in TV and film. But the the opening few, like the opening like few seconds of uh, of this, um, of Adrian, G G G G G this is, um, I mean, this is, this is on a level, I mean, I mean, this is like, this is like discount amateur porn, you know, this is, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's quite special. Amazon is raising its minimum wage to $15 an hour. Amazon is raising the minimum wage. It's $15 an hour. Oh, big news today. Amazon raising its minimum wage to $15 an hour. What's that? Amazon just what? Who the fuck is he supposed to be talking to? He's got a microphone and his finger in his ear. God knows where else that fucking thing has been. Who, who are you supposed to be talking? Are you supposed to be like a news reporter? What is this for? What news channel is this? Foxy Stoked News. Fifteen dollars an hour. Fifteen dollars an hour. Ready. <laughs> Fifteen dollars an hour. <laughs> do you know what, Adrian? I do a course for twenty-five thousand dollars that teaches people how to laugh convincingly. You should take that. You really should. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but that's... It's okay, because you weren't laughing, were you, mate? I mean, you literally weren't. That's that. That's that's what you were, were not doing, isn't it? I mean, you definitely were not laughing, so you don't have to apologise. Let me, let me bring this in here so, it's, so I can get the chat in. Here we are. Yeah. Really the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, that'd be the, literally the funniest thing you've ever heard in your life. And, it, I mean, literally the funniest thing you've ever heard in your life. You know, you've never seen Monty Python, right? No, you've never seen, you know, Good Morning Vietnam. You've never seen, like, anything, Spaceballs, Freddy Got Fingered. You've never seen that. Watching the news, what's the funniest thing you've ever seen in your life? Watching CNN when they announced that Amazon was raising its minimum wage to $15 an hour. That was literally the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. $15 a fucking hour? I mean, look at, this is, I, I, let's play this game that I, I'd like to play, which is click on any random part of the video and in, no matter where you click on, at that moment, Adrian has a face that he makes him look like a complete cunt. Look, there it is there. Yep, yeah, there, that one. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, right there. Yeah, oh, for life, bro. Yep, yeah. there, yeah, looks like, yeah, looks like he's jacking it right there. Yep, yeah, oh, no. yeah. there, yeah, oh, yes, that's him. That's him, just, that's the vinegar strokes right there, right there. That's, oh, that's him with his wonky lip on. Yeah, go, yeah, that's him. That's him, that's him about to mansplain his fucking balls off right there. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. 
There you go, see? Do, play it at home. You can, it, it, it's impossible. There isn't one fucking single frame. There are 25 fra There are 25 frames a second. You fucking work this out. That you know. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but that's literally the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. $15 a fucking hour? Hey, Amazon, do you want a cookie? Can I just say, did you notice how he slightly struggled to break that? Ever so slightly. First of all, Adrian, you don't have to act out every metaphor or figure of speech, right? You don't have to say, you know, when you say you want to cook, you know, first of all, Amazon is not watching this fucking video. I doubt Bezos, I doubt there's anything you can teach Jeff Bezos. Um, and, and this is the annoying thing about this is that Adrian is such an unmitigated, clueless prick that for the first few minutes of this video, he is going to force me to have to defend Amazon and Jeff Bezos. But let's just watch that cookie thing again. Watch him. Watch him struggle. Hey, Amazon. Do you want a cookie? You see that? He's just like... <laughs> He's like... Bastard! Fucking... Shitting thing! Christ it! What an absolute joke! The news ranting and raving about... I'm sorry, did you just say ranting and raving? Oh, the news are ranting and raving. Ranting? Having a rant, are you? Are you a, are you a YouTube ranter? Are you a YouTube, YouTube rant and rather? We're going to a rave this evening. Oh, fuck it, I've been ranting and raving all right. Really. Cunt, he can't even say what. He can't even say basic words, fucking bro. And first of all, the news weren't ranting and raving. You showed three clips that were a couple of seconds long of them literally just reporting, weren't they? They were just saying, oh, in news, you know, Amazon are raising their minimum wage to $15 an hour. That's a newsworthy story in a 24-hour news cycle, I think, you know. But they weren't there going, oh, a wonderful news, Amazon is going... They weren't there, they weren't there, they weren't going all drinking with Bob, going, Amazon is raising the... They weren't, they weren't having... It. Welcome to YouTube rants with drinking with what about Bob. No. Fifteen dollars an hour, like that's actually going to help your life in the big scheme of things. Well, I mean, what do you mean in the big scheme of things? Like it's going to help your life? Well, it will help it more than say earning, I don't know, ten dollars an hour, won't it? I mean, it will help it by at least fifty percent. And also, Adrian, can I just point out, not everybody works at Amazon, right? This, 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 what this fucking self-righteous indignation you are expressing really is only fucking applicable if I work to Amazon, which I don't. I mean, well, do you know what I do for a living? This. The CEO, Jeff Bezos, is walking around with 160 fucking billion in the bank. Okay, I very much doubt that Bezos has got 160 billion in the bank, man. He doesn't walk around. He doesn't have a debit card. He doesn't have his nationwide ISA account with 160 billion. That's not how that works, right? And that's a worrying statement to come from a geezer who's trying to sell me on a fucking how to make a shitload of cash scheme. And it's not just Amazon, but that goes for any nine to five job. But any nine to five job. Yeah. Those poor workers are getting played like an Xbox.
Look, you don't play an Xbox, you play a game in an Xbox. And so are you. Uh, uh, me? How dare you? If you're currently stuck at a nine to five hellhole. Okay, a hellhole. Okay, Adrian, here's the thing, right? Here's the difference. Jeff Bezos, whatever you think, he that mu those workers are getting paid by him. You are not going to offer to pay me fucking anything, are you? No. Now, I don't mean to be condescending. And oh, you could not fucking possibly mean anything else. I have never seen a man to so determined. You are the anthropomorphic fucking manifestation of condescending, snotty, sneering, patronising, fucking, douche-plaining fucking anything. There's, you couldn't be more condescending. If you were more condescending, you'd have fucking, you, you'd, have, you'd have like, you know, droplets of water forming on your fucking face. Belittle you, but the reason I'm acting so crazy is... You're not acting, but you could not belittle me, mate. You couldn't make me feel fucking worthless. I want you to get pissed off. Have you not seen my video responses to you, Adrian? Uh, that's that's in the post, but bitch. I want you to be mad. It's coming. Why so? Why so? Why so? Why so? Well, I, um, that's a good point. I never thought about that, Adrian. There is a known little quote from the movie The Terminator 3. Okay, I want us all to stop here and just take that in. He is about... There is a, there is a no, little known quote from the movie Terminator 3. He, he's decided... He thought he needs a quote here from, from a movie or some cultural fucking signifier that people can recognise. And he chose... Terminator 3. The Terminator. And it's ironic that he is about to compare himself to Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 3 because in the previous video, you may remember, I used a clip from the Arnold Schwarzenegger film Predator. And I'm assuming that in the next video response I do to him, he will be kindergarten cop with Arnold Schwarzenegger, where he picks up a depressed and hopeless John Connor, who he was sent back to Earth from the future to protect- I know the plot to Terminator 3, you fucking wanker! Act. Out of nowhere, he picks him up by the neck for about five seconds, and then just tosses him to the ground- I'm watching the clip! Can you not give me a fucking commentary? I'm not fucking blind! Out like a bag of trash. And then John goes, what the hell did you do that for? And Arnold, like fucking John Gilgood, playing Hamlet, delivers the line. And the Terminator replies, Get to the chopper! <laughs> you are mine now! You belong to me! There is no bathroom! Anger is more valuable than despair. So what, what makes you think that I'm despair? I'm feeling despair? I mean, I am. I'm watching this. Basically, the Terminator pissed him off on purpose for motivational purposes. And so, thank you for explaining what you have to do, Adrian. So, Adrian thinks he is the Terminator. And he's not entirely wrong. I mean, to be fair, Arnold Schwarzenegger is fucking... is Sir Anthony Hopkins compared to this fucker, and... Even in Hercules in New York. And that is exactly what I wanted to do to you today. Right. You, you're, so you're telling me you want to make me angry. Right. Carry on. Fifteen dollars a fucking hour? That was Adrian G beatboxing them. I could mix that. One hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three, five hundred dollars an hour. But you ain't gonna pay. Yeah, are you gonna pay me that? 
No, I don't think you are, are you? And I'm going to show you exactly how to achieve that today. And it doesn't involve, and it involves you giving me fuck all. So please sit back, shut down Facebook, close out Instagram and prepare to watch this. He said that in the last video, didn't he? Yeah. Prepare to watch this video. Motherfucker, I am three minutes into it. All you've done is sit there and make everyone cringe with your fake laughter, Arnold's Terminator 3 quotes, and your inability to break a biscuit in half. Video to the very end. To the very end, yes. This, this 70, next 75 minutes is going to go as quickly and as swiftly as the Hundred Years' War. Because what I'm about to tell you today will literally change your life forever well it, it would have to wouldn't it i mean it's not gonna you can't say it's gonna change my life and then have no call like it's not like causality fucking ceases to happen you know at some point it's not like i'm gonna revert back am i did he just spit in his own mouth well fucking hell someone needs to that's how much he hates him that's how much of a cunt this guy is he spits at himself his his his, his saliva is embarrassed No, you won't make a 160 billion net worth like... Why not? How do you know? Mr. Bezos. How do you know? Not even close. That bastard got lucky with a 300k investment from his parents. Okay, fair enough. But, I don't know if that's true, let's assume it is. But not everyone who has 300,000 is inevitably going to become worth 165 billion fucking dollars, are they? Yeah, he also created what is the large, the single largest global marketplace on Earth. You know, he did do that as well. Do your parents have 300k lying around to toss you? If they do, I'm going to be poisoning their fucking food when I visit next. Probably not. And on top of that, the only reason he's making so much is... Duh. He's being cheap and paying all his workers a minimum of 15 measly dollars. Well, you know, he's only just started doing that, Adrian. Right? An hour. While he probably has a million... Another great sort of acted out figure of speech. ...dollars falling out of his fucking shoe. Who wants to bet that Adrian is doing this video with one shoe on, right? Because he had to do... He had to save up his money. He had to get some money. He had to stuff it in a shoe. Go and get a biscuit. And put them next to the camera. Before doing it. And then realising he got the fucking slightly thicker ones, you know, a little bit... He got those fucking, you know, those fox cookies that are quite fucking, you know, thick. I mean, they're, they're really, really tough. To, right? What he wanted was a rich tea, wasn't it? Or something like that, you know, or a, or a nice... He wanted a nice biscuit, you know, or, um, or, or, a, di or a digestive that had been dipped in tea. Something like that. I've got a packet of chocolate hobnobs. So... Well, I can't help you make billions. Well, then what the fuck are you, is you so you to me? I am going to show you how to make six figures working from the beach. I, I live in I live in the Midlands, mate. I, I have to get a fucking... It's, it takes about four hours to get to the fucking beach from here. And it's not so much the beach, it's just where water meets dirt. Or anywhere else in the world you want. Right. How about just staying here? Right here, right now. Okay, hold on. He didn't he just say? Didn't he just say that he 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 cre he did he did he not just say that Bezos got lucky with a three hundred thousand dollar investment from his parents? But he just said he's going to teach me how to make six figures. So six figures. Now, 300k is a six-figure income. Now, let's say it's the minimum six-figure income, and it's 100k, right? And that's from working one day a week, one hour, from the beach, or anywhere else I want, the bus, public toilet, fucking, you know, 
the bat cave you know local circus wherever and i'm surely if i just worked three days a week i'd be earning 300k which i would then have the same amount of money that bezos got from his parents and i could then use i mean already we're not even four minutes in so just give me your undivided attention for the next few minutes and you won't be the same person you were before you click play on this video. Yeah, that's that's probably true. I literally guarantee it. He literally guarantee You don't have to literally guarantee it, mate. You should just have to say guarantee. Saying literally guarantee makes me suspicious of any time you just say guarantee. Yeah. I am, you know, you, you don't have to say, you know, I am literally, a, you know, I am literally a metaphor. But before I show you how to make six figures a year by working just one day a week from... Just one day. One day a week. From your laptop? From my laptop, which I don't have, by the way. Let me tell you a little about who the hell I am. Who? Let me tell you who the hell I am. That was from the previous video. And my name is Adrian Gruska. I've heard different. I've heard Adriana Gruska. Mm? Is there anything you want to tell us about, Adrian? Mm? Any secrets? You know? Mm? Hey, mm? But for sure, you can simply call me Adrian G. And over the past. Oh, hold on. What about. Years, hold on. Hold on. What, hold on. What happened to AG? What happened to the Brotherhood, man? Is the bro Has it been disbanded? What happened? I thought we were clan buddies. I thought I thought you and I thought I was a, you were you were AG to me, you know. I called I called you Gur, Aggie, Aggie Aggie Aggie. Oh, you you like that the Australians, don't you? Nothing but one day a week while making well over six figures. One day, well well over six figures. Isn't over six figures seven figures? I mean you. You mean well over? You have to name a specific six-figure amount if it's still a because nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and one hundred thousand dollars is still two six-figure incomes. If it's over six figures, that's seven figures at least. Yes, one. One. Count them. C count them. Count them. Count them. This, you think this guy doesn't understand economics, right? I'm not a mathematician, right? But one. W one. One. What one? And with one. All of the knowledge I've gained over this period of time, I've had the privilege of teaching thousands of others my What from what training. one hour a week completely... what one hour a week? You work one day a week and teach thousands of people. You must be fucking off your feet, bro. Master the art of being their very own boss. Quickly and easily. Well, well, I don't necessarily believe agree with that. I think you know, well over six figures is depends what you consider well. Well is a very vague term. But before I became successful, making six figures a year by working just one day a week, just one day, one, one. Week, I worked a nine to five, just like you. And you, and you, and you. I am none of these cunts, right? Look at them. You said, no, I said all these people. They're all happy. They're all getting, none of them look stressed or pissed off. They're all getting on with their fucking lives, doing something productive, right? They're just, none of them look stressed. They're not sweating. They're not weeping uncontrollably. They're not cutting themselves. Right? This geezer's got a high vis on, a fucking hat hard on. Sorry. A hat hard on. I don't it again. And uh, he's got an iPad. This motherfucker's got an iPad. You know, he's telling her where she can go. She goes, that's the toilets over there. Go. This geezer. Look at this geezer. He's so fucking chilled out. He's just, he's not even got his hand on his gear stick. He's just resting his wrist on it. Going all limp there. You know. All these people look very, very, look very content. But after going through years and years of what I politely define as hell, mm -hmm. one day something just clicked. I snapped. And yeah, yeah I, I, I believe that you did snap. Yeah, I believe something. Clicked. I think it was 
something in your brain. I was able to come up with the secret path to success. Right, were you really? Well, fuck, fuck my ass. The keys to the kingdom, if you will, that would get me out of the rat race forever. Mm -hmm. So now let me tell oh, you the you're quick still a story rat, of how I changed my life forever and how I'm going to help you do the exact same. It all Spoiler alert, he doesn't. It all started back on June 12th, 2013. Again, do you see how brilliant he is? Do you see how... Did, weren't you convinced that he was actually thinking? And again, he did that in the last video when he was recalling when he started, you know, when he had that date. And he said, it, and it was June again, 2011. So this is two years after that date. Right? So presumably this is two years after he's... And so two, 2011 June, a month later, he, he started researching all of the fucking um, best fucking, you know, what's his name's uh, pickup artists. And then he must, and so this is two years later, when presumably, after two years of study, he's now ready to go, as he put it, out in the field to take his pick of the women, who he also compared in that video, and I never played this, played this clip, he's saying, you're going to have your choice of women like the dollar store menu, like the dollar menu at McDonald's. And I'm just like, oh, ambassador, you are, with all these Ferrero Rush, with all these filet fish you are spoiling us. Yes, I remember the exact date when I... I remember, I remember the exact... I can tell you did, mate, because you were, you were thinking just then. You were definitely going, it was uh, June... Of course you remember the date. Chinny wreck on, bruv. Chinny wreck on. I was hired to my second call centre job. Your second call centre job? That comes right after first. While I despise the first company I worked for, this one was even worse. Right. So you're a fucking idiot then, mate. Imagine walking into... Oh, imagine what they all thought of you. I'd love to hear what everyone at your company thought of you. That's a fucking interesting video. Right? That's a documentary I want to see. Work. You worked for the Samaritans, I know, for one, you know, for one morning. Well, it was depressing. Well, I'm not surprised you spoke to five people and they all committed suicide. I wouldn't mind, but one was a wrong number. He only phoned up for the cricket scores. Sitting in your chair and having 70 customers per day yelling and screaming at you because... They well, all of them. I mean, all of them. Are you telling me that everybody you phoned or everybody you spoke to you spoke, first of all, I don't believe you spoke to 70 people a day. But even if that's true, like, they can't all have been yelling at you. Some of them must have been at least indifferent, disinterested, or maybe just forcing politeness. You know, I know this is Australia, but still. Their phone bill is screwed up. What are all of these fees? I didn't go over my data. But you're going to pay for this, you bastard. Oh, do you really? Yeah, you're going to pay for this, you bastard. I got your orange sherbet. Why are you taking it so personally? They don't mean, they don't literally mean you. They don't mean they're going to come round to your flat, a pair of, uh, you know, with, with some KY jelly, some fucking jump leads, a, a fucking back car battery and your bollocks. They're going to fucking, they mean the company. Yes, me. No, 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 not you. Not, n not you. I mean, I wouldn't mind it. If that was their policy, I would totally welcome it. Yes. Yes, sorry, Adrian, you've got to pay for this. Right? I'm going to pay because... No, you're not going to pay. Did you pay? No, you didn't, you fucking imbecile. Their phone bill is screwed up. You see? Well, then what you do, I... what you're supposed to do is apologise and then fucking get it sorted. Unscrew it up for them. I know that you don't really understand it. You know, you're used to just fucking things up. That's your basically your job. Often got the direct blame from the disgruntled customer. Yes, because you are on the fucking phone to them, you fucking absolute cunt. Not the phone company I'm working for. You are the phone company. You work for them. So it's easy for my supervisor to say, the customer is always right. And it's... Sorry, I've got new, I've got new, I've got new flatmates and they're just knocked on the wall. So I have to keep the screaming down. <laughs> I didn't mention that. I've got new people living here now.
expect me to wear a big, goofy smile. I don't need you to smile, Adrian. You're on the phone. You could be sat there fucking masturbating like a fucking evil dervish. They don't care. Just maintain professional discipline. But as a human being, not... Are, are you sure about that? Can we have a steward's inquiry? A robot? And you, excuse me, not a robot. Uh, didn't you three minutes ago compare yourself to the Terminator? Uh, hello? Make your mind up, Adrian. The Terminator 3, no doubt. Hang on. It just doesn't work like that. It, 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 it should do. It's quite easy. It just doesn't. It, 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 it literally does. And on top of that, my boss himself, Gary... Oh, Gary. Wait till you hear about Gary. Wait till you hear about the... Oh, mate. He's going to fucking roast Gary. Or... As I like to call him, Mr. Potato Head. Sick burn, bruv. Fucking well. Fucking Mr. Potato Head. Wow, God. Get some fucking... Get some deep freeze on that burn, Gary. How'd you feel now? Who's the boss now, you fucking piece of shit? You Mr. Potato Head fucking prick. He called him this because he had no legs. Yeah. Um, had to be the biggest arsehole walking the face of that. So he's a potato and an arsehole. Uh, mm. And he worked with you. I mean, he's the biggest arsehole on earth. And that's coming from you. That is bordering on a compliment. That is like, that is like Hitler calling you a racist. I called him Mr. Potato Head. But Let me guess. Did you call him Mr. Potato Head because uh, he had a head like a potato, possibly? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to go out of there. You know, but in your world, he probably literally did. You know. Because he was fat, bald with hair on the side. Well, listen, mate, you're going to fucking body shame people. You, fu well, I bet you've got a little African child that fucking sponsors you, you skinny prick. Right. I bet you have to draw your knees on. Had a big, goofy moustache, glasses... Well, I've seen more meat on a butcher's fucking pencil. And always wore a red tie. So I bet He always wore a red tie. <laughs> what a cunt. Basically, Mr. Potato Head in the flesh. Mr. Potato Head, Adrian, is is not made of flesh. He's made of potato. That's why he's Mr. Potato Head. That's literally what his name is. His style of management went something like this. God, we're going to get management style. If he woke up on the right side of the bed, he was a decent human being and okay to deal with. Okay. If he woke up on the left side of the bed. Okay. Right. First of all, Adrian, the expression is not woke up on the right side of the bed or the left side of the bed. It's the right side of the bed or the wrong side of the bed. It is not right or left. It's right or wrong. You don't even... It's a very commonly used phrase. It's really fucking... You know, it, 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 it doesn't matter. It's not... He doesn't even understand. And to me, does that, does that just not sound like Gary is just like, I don't know, a human being? Like the rest of us? Like sometimes he wakes up and pissed off? Possibly, did you ever consider that maybe having to work with you has got something to do with that? He was Satan reincarnated and would do anything in his power? So he was Satan reincarnated. What do you mean Satan reincarnated? Don't you mean Satan incarnated? Satan can't be reincarnated. Satan, you know, presumably the Satan you're referring to is the, you know, Christian version of that, then he never was, he was never dead. He can't be reincarnated. He was, he would be the devil incarnate. You can't, you don't know anything, do you? You, I mean, you literally can't, you, you can't get anything right. You know? This is what, you know, for a guy who does nothing but fucking fill his Twitter feed with inane, meaningless drivel. Did I hear the bit about the red tie? And the potato. And the potato. And he's fat. And he's fat, you know. Make my life a living hell. So I'm guessing he has... Good. I'm, I'm good for him. I, I hope he gets a fucking promotion on the basis. Yeah.
Did you ever consider that the reason you had a, such a horrible time with all these people, that the one common denominator in all of this was you? Add a, a volcano pit or shark-infested water on the right side of his bed. But OK, if he did, he's not going to be getting up pissed off, is he? It's not an express, Adrian, it's not like the side of the bed you get on has some, it, it's an expression just to say, this morning I happened to wake up, you know, and I was not in a good mood. It's got nothing to literally do. It's just a way of sort of, it's an expression that means I just woke up and I was immediately in a bad mood, right? It's this thing that we have, you know, human beings have called emotions try try experiencing them someday because seeing as he was a total ass say uh 98 percent of the time 98 so he got up on the right wrong he got up on the left side of the bed 98 percent of the time right. he sure as hell loved waking up on his left well if he loved waking up on his left then he wouldn't have been in a bad mood when he did it would he you you can't even get the fucking narrative of this fra of this very common fucking phrase of this idiom that you have completely butchered in the first place god almighty these aren't even relevant to it he's just he's trying to tell a simple he's just trying to put across a simple point that his boss was a was it was a was a moody you know, obnoxious prick. Fine, just say that. Don't take us on this fucking stupid journey where you go, you know, it's like that scene in Anchorman where Ron Burgundy goes, hey, when in Rome, and he doesn't know what it means. So, between Satan, I mean, Mr. Potato Head, <laughs> I mean, Gary. Oh, God, so sorry, sorry. <laughs> very, very droll. <laughs> Between Satan, I mean, are you saying that Mr. Potato Head is, is are you implicating? Because I mean, because Satan, I mean, he couldn't give a toss. Gary, you know, probably doesn't give a shit anyway. He, you know, he was probably, you know, he was glad when you left. He was this close to bringing a fucking machine gun to fucking work. All right. The seventy calls coming back to back. Yeah. This is Adrian G talking about the time he was self-employed. Of irate customers all day. Driving an hour to work in rush hour traffic all the while making just enough to pay my bills and have $25 a month left over if I was lucky? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, luxury. Of course, you know, when I was your age, I had it tough, you know. I used to wake up two hours before I went to bed, right, then I went to work in pit for 25 hours a day. I had to pay pit owner for privilege. Then I would come home, my dad would slice us in two with bread knife, and and then after a meal of after a, eating a meal of our own human shit. Let's just say I was probably top ten miserable human beings on earth. Probably I imagine that's pro yes, I, I yes, you probably were. You working in a call center with a slightly a, with a with a with a bit of a prick as a boss who's a fat geezer with a red tie who looks like a potato but he's actually satan and it, and he's and you and it's not just that he's satan he's satan on purpose yeah he's satan because he deliberately gets out on the left side of the bed where he knows there's there are shark infested pits and a volcano because he's obviously a bond villain as well during this time period you see Gary was a type of miserable douche who... It wouldn't be great if the Gary he's talking about is in Mendham, because that would be... Oh, God, what I would give to lock this fucking ass, This guy and in Mendham in a room together for a week. I give him... I give him one hour before Gary denounces his fucking vegetarianism and just eats him alive. Just give me crap for the hell of it. I don't believe that. I don't believe he was giving you crap for the hell of it. I think you've earned all the crap you get. Whether it's from people who you have wronged or not. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's debt that is owed. Every single day, he would just do little stuff to deliberately annoy me and piss me off. What did he do? What, walk around being fat? No matter how hard I tried to be a model employee, he found great joy in just 
coming into work and... I didn't rape any of the women I worked with, you know, apart from that one time, but, you know... You know, no one found out about that, you know, because, you know, because obviously, because obviously she was, you know, she hadn't learnt to talk yet, and, you know... Taking his misery out on me. Adrian, lower your voice while talking to that caller. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, what, what's wrong with that? Well, yeah, if you're talking too loudly, you put off people... I've worked at a call centre, and if you've got someone who's... If you're sat next to someone who's literally like Ian Paisley at a Sepultura concert, then yes, it's annoying. I imagine he just didn't want to hear you talking. I mean, they should play this video on... I, I reckon they played this audio of these videos on a loop in Guantanamo Bay. He'd scream while monitoring my calls from his desk. He's supposed to monitor your calls. That's his job. He's supposed to make sure it's, it's part of the fucking job. He monitors everyone's calls. They monitor your calls to make sure that you're following the script pro fucking properly. Right, it's not. He's not. He's not. Fuck. He ain't. Na he ain't NAFTA. He ain't fucking spying on you. Then the next call, he may ask me to raise my voice, even though I'm talking at the exact same freaking volume level. Well, maybe you weren't. Maybe he misheard you. Could it be possible that he made a mistake? I mean, this is literally. I mean, they say that fucking. I mean, they say that nurses have it tough. Listen to this fucking hell. I mean, this is literally. I mean, this sounds like, this sounds like literally Auschwitz, you know. So yes, his hobby in life was to simply annoy the hell, the hell out of me. I, I don't blame him. I, 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 I've, I've, it's recently become my new hobby. And eat bonbons. Like, that's just my gap. And he ate, ate bonbons. Wait, you're holding it against him that he ate bonbons. Bon, 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 bon. Uh, mystery meat. Quiche's Lorraine. Like, you're holding it against him. Uh, you're trying to sort. You're trying to demean. You're trying to, you know, defame his character by pointing out that he ate bonbons. What is wrong with that? Oh, what a weirdo! That's based on the fact that his belly sagged damn near to his knees. Okay, he ate a lot of bonbons, and. But anyway, I needed a paycheck, so I put up with his BS every day. Oh, what a fucking hero. Because it's what I needed to do to survive. Just you, Jesus, and Mahatma Gandhi. So, fast forward about six months into my job to Nor, and I'm now promoted to a team lead. So you were, this guy was such a prick to you. This guy hated you so much. This guy took pleasure in fucking in picking on you and making your life hell so much that after just six months, he gave you a promotion. What a bastard. Not a supervisor, but a notch below. And no, I wasn't... Yeah, you were a notch below, mate, yeah. ...promoted there by Mr. Potato Head. It came from the higher-ups who saw... It doesn't matter who it came from. You know, do you not think he was telling you what you think he was telling you? Know, what so they knew that you were being picked on, and they say rather than tell him not to do anything, they gave you a promotion. You know, what absolute fucking twaddle! My work ethic and excellent stats, and simply couldn't deny me the raise. Well, they they could, they could if they wanted to, they could deny anybody the raise. You're not entitled to it. If it was up to my boss, zero chance out of. Ever gotten promoted. Well, he's clearly not your boss, though, is he? Yeah. Zero. Zero. So, at this One. point, with the Zero. extra $4 an Zero. hour raise, One. I was at least able to pay all my bills and have a little breathing room left over at the end of the month. Yeah, welcome to fucking reality, bitch. Went from $25 to $300 in spare money, which, for me, made me feel rich in comparison to my old salary. Well, yeah, if, I mean, it's, I mean, it, it's spare money. So assuming that's everything paid off, all your bills, things like, you know, rent, food covered, and you've got $300. It's pretty good. So, well, considering this is what, eight years ago. Mr. Potato Head was still a pain in my ass. I was finally... How could I put it? 
Oh, God, please don't tell me how you're going to put it. Content with my job. A boredom... He was content. Remember, this was a living hell. But he's content. Well, I'm happy compared to six months prior. And then that's when it happened. The oh, God. No. What I, oh, no. That's when it happened. Well, no. A new hire that would change everything. Mm -hmm. His name was Corey Lima. Oh, Corey Lima. Oh, yeah. That's middle name, not last. Who are you? Who are you talking to? Who's a, no one's over there, Adrian. You, you're not allowed within fucking five hundred feet of another human being. You're electronically tagged. We all know this. Corey, why did he do that? Why did he look over there? Is Corey over there, tied up? It was a rich preppy kid who thought he was God's gift to the freaking world. Oh, there's nothing. I'll tell you what, Adrian. I fucking totally agree with you, mate. There's nothing more annoying than listening to some. Arrogant smug prick. You know, I you know, some arrogant wanker who thinks he's God's gift to it. This from the guy who, this from the guy who calls himself Doctor Love. He walked around in custom-made khakis, neatly pressed dress shirt with a twenty-four karat gold button. Neatly pressed dress shirt. What like the one you're wearing? Right? And I'm a man who likes pink, right? But you're you're fucking doing it a bad disservice there. G into it. And a sweater draped around his neck and a knot. So what? Okay, he looked like a prick. Who cares? Imagine No, I don't need to imagine. You've just described literally what he what he looked like. Yes, he looked like a white Carlton Banks. Who cares? The president of your school's honor society didn't have one who had a free lifetime membership to his dad's country club and spent most of his free time on a perfectly green, exceptionally groomed golf course. Aren't you the guy who's going to teach me how to make six figures a year by working one day a week? And you're busting on this geezer because he's a fucking because he's, he's, he's a, he was born privileged, but he's still got a proper job. And I bet he was a fuck sight more easy to work with than you. Because that's exactly who he was. Was he, he, Yeah, but he's not you. You know, that guy's probably making a video somewhere else talking about this fucking emaciated Australian fucking mongoloid porn inferno called Adrian G. His parents, mother, a primary care physician, and father, the CEO of one of the largest investment banks in Australia... Wow. Okay. And that's his fault how? Made him get a job at this call centre. <laughs> okay. Good for them. Not because he needed the money, but to teach him life lessons on working hard. Since they had... Sp well, life lessons on working hard. You've just described this... That you, what, you've just sat there spending five minutes describing working in this call centre. It basically sounds like the fucking... The, the prison, the Devil's Island from the film Papillon. And now you're talking about working hard. I him too much up to this point. But when it comes to this guy, it seems he pretty much did anything besides work. So what's the significance of this guy besides being a spoiled, entitled little douche? You, you, are, you are calling someone a spoiled, entitled... Okay. Are you sure this wasn't like a Tyler Durden thing? But instead of Tyler Durden being some sort of cool, fucking like non-conformist anarchist, <laughs> fucking you know sort of like terrorist geezer who looked like Brad Pitt, you just imagined some fucking like some some sweater wearing frat guy, like you know. Back. Well, my boss, Mister Potato Head, aka. That's Gary. Hey, Gary? A.K.A. Gary, just in case you've forgotten. That hilarious joke. Took a strong liking to this little brown noser. Oh, he's a brown noser now, is he? So, okay. You see... So what he's figured out is if, he, if, he, if he's nice to the boss, right, 
and he and he, you know he, and he's like does what he what wants and he's like you know that it's an easier he has an easier time. Well, Corey Lima, that's middle name, not last. Why do you keep looking off to the right? There's nobody there, and don't you dare bust on this guy because he's using the, his middle name as his last name. You're li you literally call yourself Adrian G. Or AG. You don't even use your fucking name. You use the monogram of it, you pretentious cocksucker. I didn't have too many life skills. Does he play that piano? No. It's not even a real piano. It's probably just a fucking, like, it's probably just a bit of cardboard cutout. He didn't have any life skills. Apparently he did. Apparently he, you know, apparently he knew how to fucking, you know, he knew how to get away with doing fuck all work. That's a life skill, motherfucker. One thing he must have learned from his CEO father was the delicate art of sucking up. Okay. And what's wrong with that? Is he, is he making a video moaning and pissing and moaning like a fucking... like a 1950s housewife? No. Is Corey Lima fucking infecting my fucking existence with his with his absolute whinging petulant bullshit? No. I mean the guy practically invented it. I don't think he did, did he? Because you wouldn't have known what it was. What he invented he invented like kissing his bosses. I don't think he did, did he? And isn't that your whole thing? Isn't your whole thing is like you know is basically doing the same thing, but instead of doing it with your boss, you do it with women who you wanna who you wanna take advantage of. That's the same thing. He's just applied it to other areas of his life. Coming in with cupcakes for the team with especially made large one cupcakes for the team. So he bought he so he bought he went to the bakery and bought. A load of cupcakes for the team, for everyone, which I'm assuming includes you. Mr. Potato Head, giving him a bottle of cologne for his birthday. He bought him a birthday present. What's wrong with that? Cracking corny jokes all day, which... Cracking corny jokes, uh, at least, I bet they were jokes at least. I bet I could fucking, not, not you. Jesus Christ. Christ, you're like you're like the you're like the un you're like an you're like Andy Kaufman, but without any self awareness. Yeah. Potato head would eat up. I mean, it was literally nauseating. Corey Lima, Corey Lima, that's middle name, not last. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. Oh, uh, tell me about it. yeah. No, I don't. No. What do you mean you don't exist? I don't believe you. They weren't vegan cupcakes. Good, I hope they were covered in bacon and a pig. I hope it was just a pig's ass in a giant cake. <laughs> the dead giveaway that he was the ultimate suck up was the dead giveaway. It, dude, we get the fucking point. Could you please? I can hear my fucking. I can. My cells dying. Him always complimenting Potato Head's looks. It, it's, yeah, but you say that because he's vegan and yet he hates Mr. Potato Head. You know, who's the hypocrite really? Yeah. You know? When, well, I don't normally. He should be Mr. Scotch Egg. Yeah, you know, that would be that would make sense. Guys, in actuality, he was easily one of the most hideous-looking creatures this world has ever seen. And that that's coming really, you know, okay, yeah. Hideous looking creatures the world has ever seen. Right. You don't have any mirrors, do you, Adrian? Yeah, no, he sounds like a he sounds like a cool goat. He sounds like a cool geezer. So like I'd want to hang out with him. He sounds like the kind of guy who would let me fuck his sister. But none of my business, right? I Oh, none of your business. It was fucking apparently it's our business too. Apparently this is relevant somehow. This is this is you try this is you trying to make yourself seem sympathetic 
to the people watching. And all you're doing is making us like everyone else. Just keep on doing my job while Corey keeps kissing butt and Mr. Potato Head treats me like crap as the team lead. Right? Not a problem. Well, at least that's what I thought. Now, Apparently you didn't. Now, fast forward a couple of weeks and Corey Lima, that's middle name, not last, has been here for a total... Okay, I'm really, it's really starting to piss me off now because it, it, he thinks this is... I don't know why he's doing this. He's looking off to the right and it, I don't know what he thinks he's doing there. You know, who, who, who I don't know what, how I'm supposed to interpret it. Of one month. And one day, while standing outside of Potato Head's office, printing out some papers, I overhear Corey in the office kissing up and telling our boss he thinks he should qualify for a team lead right so basically he's gone in there made friends with everyone but he's been you know a team player he's like you know he's you know endeared himself to everyone and in doing so within a month you know you haven't criticized his performance within a month he's saying you know he's he's saying he would like to be he's showing you know, he's telling them he's not waiting to be given a fucking promotion he's telling them you know that's what i want to do i want to do that and they give it to him what's the fucking problem why is this what wh why is wh how is he so what do you think old gary boy well oh, you, this is adrian playing different characters now this is him doing a skit right and it's gonna you're gonna uh, you'll be forgiven if you think for a moment that peter sellers has been has been reincarnated, right? Not like the devil, right? But Peter Sellers, yeah. We are only allowed to have one team lead at a time. Mm. But Adrian G really doesn't count as a whole human being, let's be honest, yeah. And right now, well... I mean, if I was king, he would be first against the wall. What's his face is holding that position. But no. What's his face? Yeah, that's probably a fair... I reckon he did use that term, what's his face, yeah. No, trust me, I wasn't the one who promoted him, said Mr. Potato Head. I, I, I got that, Adrian. Uh, could you not do voices? Possibly, you know. No, he's not like Patrick Bateman from Psycho. Patrick Bateman was able to be, you know, Patrick Bateman was able to appear somewhat sort of you know he, he was able to smile you know you know you know he well he looked like christian bale for a start which was good um christian you know he also had like you know muscles and didn't weigh as much as a photograph of himself and um and patrick Bayton had a proper job you know oh wow that's too bad Corey responded well, just give us some thought, and who knows what the future holds. So, so he took. So he told him they can't have more than one team leader. He said, "Oh, that's too bad. Never mind. You know, keep it in, but keep it in mind if it's ever available. You know, for the future." Does, does, uh, what story are you? Do you think you're telling us? Sure thing, buddy. I'll see you on lunch. I'll, I'll see you on lunch. Yeah. You're not making me like you. You're not making me dislike either of these guys. So before Corey could open the door to leave, I scurried around the corner. You fucking puff! You big girl's blouse! You fucking woolly woofter! Fucking! I, I ran around and I hid in a bin. I hid behind. I put a lampshade on my head and stood there like that. No one knew anything. To the break room. Heart beating fast in somewhat disbelief. What? At what? A guy asking for a promotion or putting his name down to be considered for one and then being told that it's not possible and then responding by, oh, OK, never mind then. This guy's unbelievable. But at the end of the day, I've been in this position four months. At this job, ten months. 
Right. And my st- and d- so what? Did he know? You know, did was was Corey Lima? That's last middle name, not last. Was he aware that they couldn't have more than one team leader? Did he know that? Because he seemed to accept it quite when he was told. Yeah, he didn't seem to. He didn't stab you in the back. Why should he care what you think? You're the, you know, cause if he could hear what you say now, he probably would have fucking tried harder. He probably would have rolled you up in a carpet and had you buried in his. In his dad's golf, daddy's golf course at the country club, and you, you, you and if you're talking about country, you, you know, as Stephen Fry once said of Piers Morgan, to murder, to paraphrase him, you know, to murder Adrian G is the definition of countryside. Dad spoke for themselves, so I knew I had nothing to worry about. Now, fast forward. I knew I had nothing to worry about. Could you get to the point, then, please, Adrian? Because. So far, this entire story amounts to nothing happened. About two more weeks. And Mr. Potato... I mean, it's gripping stuff, this. I mean, it's fucking... It is... I'm on the... I'd be... I'm on, I'm on the edge of something. Later ahead is now giving me way more shit than usual. Way more. When I say a bug was practically up his ass 24-7... Well, have you got a bug and an ass just to show me... Show me what this looks like. You're like one of those silicon asses. You've got one of those, and a, and a bug to stick up it, so I know exactly what you mean. I really mean it. Mm. He was yelling a little louder at me, being a lot more impatient, and seemingly trying to find the smallest of things to give me a hard time about. I'm getting the impression, Adrian, that he doesn't like you, and to be quite honest, I can't see why that's unreasonable. <laughs> one day, he came up with some lame problem that. I left the file cabinet open and it was a safety hazard for employees and that I could get in big trouble for it. Well, it probably could be. It depends where the filing cabinet was. You know, someone could, if, if it was near a door doorway, someone could trip over it. If it was a bottom one, someone could trip over it, you know. If it's a place, if it's an area where people are walking around a lot and they might not necessarily watch where they're going. He, he just went out of his way to screw with me at this point. Fast forward... Another oh my week. God almighty. Fucking hell. This is like the opposite. Whatever the opposite of Alfred Hitchcock is, this motherfucker is doing it. And it's fun. What's the opposite of suspense? Only the weekend and I can relax. Saturday, I just took it in. It's the weekend. Ooh, I'm blinded by the light. Easy and play some video games. And Sunday, after laying on my couch for a few hours... I got up and got dressed and went to church. You were laying on the couch naked and then went to church. You went to church after being on the couch for a few hours. What time do you get up? And what do you go to church for? Oh, I get it. They must have had a woman vicar. You just sat in the back row, didn't you? Masturbating. And that's when I received a text message that would alter my life forever. Mm. Right, so you could have just started here. Right? You could have the last ten minutes of this video could have easily been fucking skipped over, and you could have just. But it would alter his life forever. It was from your dad. So I'm thinking of you, son. I'm in the bath and I'm hard. Hey Adrian, sorry to inform you, but due to your conduct lately, we have decided to go in another direction. Yes, he got the sack. Get in there. Go on, potato. Potato. In the words of Joseph 8276, potato. I wish you luck in future endeavours. I hope you get hit by a truck the second you step out into the road, you fucking waste of... You what you fucking support system for spare organs. Sitting there, in the middle of church with the opera passionately singing their hearts out. The opera, the the opera at a church on. What the fuck is the opera doing? Bef- the, the, like you went to see opera.
I'm already not supposed to be on my phone, but I do check it in emergencies. So how do you know it's an emergency? If you've got your phone on you, you wouldn't know it's an emergency unless. But but you know that's very considerate of you for keeping your phone on so it's beeping during a fucking live performance of an opera that people are trying to enjoy, which presumably is quite expensive. I message my boss right back. Oh right, here we go. Yeah, this is where this is where shit. You know, this is where shit gets real, dog. Gary, you you text with two fingers like like that, dear. Okay. What exactly? Okay, how big is your phone? He's doing this. <laughs> dear Gary. <laughs> <laughs> And I gave it, tied it to the leg of a pigeon, and fucking. Fl- Are you saying? And he responded. And he sent a he sent like a, a two. He sent a gif of Vince McMahon going yeah. Yeah, Adrian G. Yeah. <laughs> Words I'll never forget. I'm. I'm gay. Eat potatoes, bitch. You're fired. No, he said, yeah. And at that very moment, my heart sunk so deep into my chest, I could feel it touching my stomach. It hit me so fast and so... It's the only thing that's touched your stomach in a while. Heart, I was so distraught. I literally forgot where I was. You're at the opera. Yeah. With my head currently... S- I mean, God, it's like he's never lost a job before in his life. You're a full... Gr- you're a grown-ass man, as I believe... As they say in America, you know. Spinning, racing 1,000 miles per hour. I lifted up my fist and hit... You wouldn't know that this was the worst job on planet Earth. Like, it was literally... It was like a Korean prison camp, but with phones the bench as hard as I possibly could. And among the 200 or so churchgoers in attendance, it was a collective gasp and embarrassment within me that the, I can... The vicar was overheard saying, get that cunt Adrian G out of here for fuck's sake. He works for Satan, I've heard. Mm. A potato-headed, a fat Satan with a red tie. Get out of here. Get out of here, G, you paedophile, freight-faced fuck. Never forget. After the chorus came to a screeching halt. So he brought... Th- I'm sorry, this is bollocks. You did not bring an entire opera to the halt because you got fired. Right. I hopped up, fully red-faced, and ran towards the exit. So it was like it was like a, it was like the opposite. It was like the reverse version of the graduate when he runs in at the end. Yeah, he's just he's running out of the church. You're like, Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato. It's like Douglas Renham in the IT crowd going potato. Young man, young man. Look, they did not call you back. I was like, let that motherfucker run. You know. The pastor yelled. The, the pastor yelled, yeah, fucking, yeah. He went, Oi, wanker! There's nothing to be embarrassed of. Uh, I think there fucking is. He should be. We all come to church and. Yeah, you're Adrian G. There's plenty to be embarrassed about. We are. Step here to the pulpit and let your frustrations Does be. Does anyone but be- this this entire story could be filed under the subreddit that happened? Hurt. I turned around slightly and made teary pupiled eye contact. I don't care. But then just kept running towards the I, exit. I don't care. And then hop in my, my car and call my boss's phone several times, but he care. never does answer. I don't now care. immediately racing through my head was. All my bills, rent, food. Where the hell was I going to stay? How the hell was I going to live? I thought. Suck a dick, bitch. I mean, I really just got replaced by 
a spoiled rich kid who had only worked there for one month. Mm -hmm. This was the most in insane thing I'd ever gone through in my... This was the most insane thing. Have you ever, like, lived a life? This, this was the most insane thing? Entire life. But everything with this motherfucker is the most, the most of something ever, isn't it? Nothing's just, nothing's just bad or good or all right. It's always the most ever. I was determined to fight and not drown in my own misery. So that's a shame. Yeah. My next course of action was to say, fuck Mr. Potato Head. I'm Your next course of action was to fuck Mr. Potato Head. You know, as opposed to the melon that you normally microwave. You're going to find me a new job. Wow, you that sounds like a perfectly sensible fucking reaction that literally every other human being would fucking have without disturbing an entire fucking operatic performance. You inconsiderate fucking asshole. So, I go home, hop on my laptop and start searching for jobs non-stop at this point. Non-stop. I think you did stop at some point, didn't you? And this is the typical response I got. Oh, fuck off, you. Fuck off, Adrian. Mr. G, I've heard about you. Mr. Potato Head. He Mr. Potato Head's got a lot of fingers in a lot of pies. Yeah. Sorry, we don't have any spots available. Right, so, the, yeah, okay. Well, then, how... Well, if they don't have any spots available, what were you applying for? You can't have been looking for jobs, because why would you apply a job for a place that wasn't advertising one? Not hiring right now, try back in November. Okay, so they didn't have any jobs, but you're not looking for jobs then? We'll let you know once something opens up. Yeah, like your mum. This is what I got from the first 50 or so jobs I'd sent my resume to. It's because they didn't. What do you want them to do? Fucking beam a job out of nowhere for you? Yes, we'll make you head Adrian. God, it's hardly cut my life in. When does cut my life into pieces by Papa Roach start playing? Two weeks later, as I'm laid back, panicking, so... Not looking for a job, you'll notice. Non-stop looking for a job. Yeah, He gave up. There's literally no jobs anywhere. On my couch, still without a job, I decided to finally go check my mailbox, which I hadn't done in over a week as I was just too... Wait, so you've written, you've, you've sent your CV off, your resume off to 50 or 60 places, but you haven't checked your mail in over a week. Busy and depressed job hunting to even think about it. Then, as I was putting on my slippers to go check... You put on your slippers, you absolute... Of course you've got slippers. I bet you wear one of those silk kimonos that comes up just beneath your balls, don't you? You fucking... with a glass of brandy. Cunt. I was suddenly energised by a burst of hope and optimism. Did you just stand up too quickly and get a head rush? Hey, maybe one of the jobs I applied to sent me an acceptance. Oh, fucking well, fellas! Inside in the mail. Let me hurry up and go check, I told myself. Now, outside, frantically sifting through the pile of mail, throwing away a dozen or so You do know you are thick as shit, you don't know. You know that's, the, that's what you're putting across. You are literally fucking mentally subnormal advertisements I see one white envelope and my eyes get big as I rip it open inside I'm he says this is your once in a lifetime opportunity to send us a check for 55 pounds <laughs> dear sir or madam beg your pardon hoping Praying that this is the job I've been waiting on. Gay porn fluffer. You know it. And now, 
as I open the letter and take... Oh, God almighty, would you fucking get the pissing bastard shitting fucking wanking on with it? ...out the folded sheet of paper. Rather than a job acceptance letter, I'm now... It was a piece of human shit from Mr. Potato Head saying, Eat this, you faggot. Staring at my worst nightmare. Your worst nightmare? What would that be? A woman with full confidence, self-esteem and autonomy who's sober most of the time. Was that what it was? Eviction scheduled for Monday, July 21st, 2014. Monday, July 20... Hold on. He was talking earlier. Hold on. Oh, wait, so this is now a year later. That's a year of your life you've just described? Because it was... June 2013, wasn't it, when this story started? It's taken you 15 fucking minutes to get to this point. God, Jack and Ori would have gone on for a fortnight with this prick, wouldn't you? You are not Peter Ustinov, mate. I step back slowly, taking several deep breaths, almost hyperventilating. I'm hold God, have you ever had a ra have had like a sort of just normal reaction to anything? Do you have to be a fucking melodramatic fucking drama queen? Christ almighty. Your name should be Adrian OMFG. Holding onto the mailbox so not to pass out and hit my head on the concrete floor. Oh, that would have been fucking hysterical. I take a few minutes to gather myself and then start to slowly walk towards my apartment. Can you imagine looking at this? And as that's when it suddenly dawned on me. I really just slaved for this crap I'm job for six months. I'm a massive cunt. Took shit from a boss a with a pain of thumbtack in his ass. Stressed right. out of my mind Nobody on a day-to-day -day -day basis. I have no friends. And all I have to show for it at the end of the day is the possibility of sleeping under a bridge in the next ten days. Like a troll, you mean? This is the moment I knew I could never put my livelihood into another human being's hands ever again. But you do, Adrian, because even doing what you do now, being, yes, you're your own boss, but your livelihood now depends on more than one person. It depends on hundreds or thousands of people giving you their money. So that's even more of a responsibility. Right? We all put our livelihood... None of, we don't make money out of nothing, do you? Well, I mean, you have. And I make that my personal vow. As I hold on to the letter, still staring at it in my hand. It's just a big middle finger. Picture of his landlord going... In 0.5 seconds, my emotions suddenly turned from... Who remembers that? 0.5 seconds. Sad and distraught feeling sorry for myself. Do you think you might be mental, Adrian? You sound like you've got very, very strong mood swings. To outright enraged and livid. And he's, st he's, still, in his, he's still just in his slippers, nude completely nude, in the street, with in his slippers, almost passing out, then becoming livid, like... An erection, barely visible in, day, in broad daylight. As the true totality of the damage that Mr. Potato Head and Corey Lima wrecked on my life had fun. Yes, it was all about you. It was personal, wasn't it? It was all about you, wasn't it? That's all they wanted to do was wreck your life. Your life already is... You, you, being Adrian G is your fucking punishment. It is your crime and your punishment all rolled into one. Finally started to set in. That's when I go home, hop on my laptop in a feverish attempt to save my life as I know it. Namblar.com. <laughs> Motherless. <laughs> oh, look, he Googled how to make How to money. make money online. Right. It took you this long to fucking Google that, did it? I mean, 
still naked in his slippers. Right. It's the first. How to kill a fat potato headed bastard. Google Corey Lima gay porn. Nothing. Fuck. Thing I googled, but came across nothing but a bunch of spammy ripoff sites just trying to get me to click all their apps. Who'd have thought it if you Google how to make money online, all you come across is spammy ripoff sites? And then he thought, aha, I could be one of the geezers who owns one of those sites. So that's when I sat back and tried to really think. 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 Think? Like, think. I mean, how does one think? I mean, what, did, what does one do? I mean, do, you, do I think about thinking? I mean, think. Hmm. You better think, 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 think about what you're trying to do to me. Yeah, think. How can I, as a single entity... Why? Why say that? What do you, on the off chance that people watching this are duelists? How can I, as a sick... That is, is, if that is not insecurity about his own fucking schizophrenia, he's just making sure you know. How can I, as a sane human being who's totally not fucking mental, right, who is in control, rational, right, right who doesn't need medication... Not a company, not with a group of lazy friends. How can I create a large, constant amount of revenue? Well, of course not with a company. You're unemployed. Of course not with a group of lazy friends. You don't have any. Right? right. Look, look at that face. That I could simply take care of myself and not be at the mercy of another miserable human being like Mr. Potato. Your entire fucking career that you have laid out for yourself is based on miserable human beings. They are your fucking currency, bitch. Miserable, sad, worthless sacks of shit. Who's, who, 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 whose lives have become so fucking filled with and bereft and filled with despair and misery that they look at you as the last gleaming hope. You are the warrior standing at the gates of oblivion. That's how bad their lives have gone. Right? You think your life is bad? Imagine being someone whose fucking life's gone so bad, they look to you as the fucking... Uh, they aspire to be you. How? So I started thinking about some of the highest paying professions in the world. Um, uh, you know, you could have been, what, Jeff Bezos? No, not Jeff Bezos. No, you can't... <laughs> Who wants to be that cunt? Yeah. Highest paid professions in the world. Um, see, uh, uh, yeah, fish, you know, trawlerman. That's quite high paid. It's very dangerous though. You could die. You know, you you would you would die. Um, work on an oil rig. Astronaut. Um, professional footballer or any sports athlete. Um, Hollywood act. I mean, you try it. You're an actor, and we've seen. I mean, how you are not getting. I mean, you will be the next James Bond, you know. It won't be in a James Bond film, but that's what it will be. It'll be the film you wrote yourself. Doctors, lawyers, hell, even scientists. Well, you just thought you could become a doctor, a lawyer, or a scientist. Do you, do you know what I want to be? I want to be Chancellor of the Exchequer. I'm going to send my resume in, you know. Where have you worked? I've worked at a call centre, motherfucker. Mm. The bells. I tried to think why they make so much money like... Because they know something that's complicated that not a lot of other people do and it's useful. Why do they make so much... Who asks themselves that? Who said... Why do lawyers and doctors, you know, people who... People who sp get people off, you know, p people who, like, can get someone out of, you know, a lot of trouble and spare them prison time, you know. Someone who could save someone's life or cure them from a disease, you know. People who literally 
discover things that make the world a better place for human beings. That's... What do they do? What's science ever done? They do. And that's when it hit me. What? You, someone's fist? Right, in the bollocks, please? All of those professions I just named actually have a valuable skill. Do they really? Well, fuck my pubic hair. They aren't simply playing Mr. Secretary like I was doing to my own- We know! We know this, eh? Everything you're telling us, we already know. Nobody doesn't know this. How did you not know this beforehand? Were well, you sat back thinking, fucking lawyers and doctors, pff, slackers, what do they, what do they know? Oh, boss, they actually bring something to the table that any random Joe Schwab... I think you'll find that lawyers and doctors do have bosses, Adrian. They're not like, they're not renegades, right? They're not fucking mavericks who are just operating outside the law. The street can't just wake up one morning and do. But here is the obvious. My rent is due in two weeks. And this has got what to do with... And I care about this. Why? I don't have time to go to school for eight Right, I'm telling you this now. I am giving this motherfucker till... 30 minutes in, and if he hasn't started talking, I'm just going to fuck it. I cannot take any more of this shit. Now, this has now been going on. Hold on. This has now been going on for fucking... I, holy shit. I've been now... This has been 90 minutes, nearly. It's taken me 90 fucking minutes to get 22 minutes into this fucking... You know, this... this audio visual fucking you know cure for fucking insomnia this you know this piece of shit fuck you know this is the uve bowl of fucking internet vlog vlogs mate this is i mean i cannot just you know i i'm scared if i watch all of this in one go i'll have flu and me by the end of it it's fucking intolerable That's a good point, actually, Fymoff. I didn't notice that. Why is his rent due in two weeks, but he's got one week's notice for... Maybe it's because... And I'm going to go out on a limb here. Maybe it's because this story is complete bollocks. It's all lies. None of it actually happened. He actually wrote this. Like, he made this up. This... St I mean, I... I mean, it's almost like... I mean, part of me, I think, but make, what makes it more believable and slightly, you know, makes you think he's t he, he, he's, it's a real story is because you, you would not choose to write something this fucking boring. Would you? I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't deliberately set out to write a fake story that made you look sympathetic but also you know the underdog and inspirational and come up with this god i mean god i've seen i've watched fucking i've watched the most pretentious fucking eastern european fucking art project films that have got more fucking action in them than this is to become a lawyer I marcel marceau's vinyl album had more shit going on I don't have time to go to school for 13 years to become a doctor. In two weeks, 14 days. Well done. You see, I told you he's good at maths. Right? One, zero, and he's just worked out that in two weeks, he does not have enough time to go to college to become a doctor. He's sharp, you know. 336 hours. 20,160 minutes, or however the hell you want to count. Adrian, I know how long two weeks is. It's going to be how long I fucking am going to be sat here by the time I fucking, if I choose to sat through this video, right? Do you know what, do you know what else is taking a long time, mate? My fucking life. Calculator? If I don't have my freaking rent paid, I'm going to be sleeping under a bridge or behind a gas station with spiders and snakes as my new next door neighbours. I feel sorry for them, yeah. 
don't worry, I think they'll leave you alone. Who the fuck's going to want to bite you? Yeah. You could probably get eaten, but you could probably get eaten and swallowed by your average fucking anaconda, and you wouldn't even notice. You wouldn't see a single bulge. It'd be like, you know. I had to figure out something now. 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 It scree scream now more. You know, that might help. So then I tried to think of something I was already good at. Right. Okay, I can't, I'm, I'm out of it, no. That I wouldn't have to go to... You know what you're good at? You, you know, you're good at writing fake reviews for your own products. That's fucking something you, you evidently have a passion for. Go for a decade just to learn. I was a pretty good surfer. But how right, the well, why don't you fucking... Why don't you Patrick Swayze at the end of bo Point Break, then? You know? Why don't you fucking do that? Be a hero. End it all now. I was a pretty good surfer. Get eaten by a shark. That would be hilarious. Cut fucking thing would probably spit you right back out. He'd probably use you as a toothpick. I'm going to make money doing that. I wasn't half bad at car detailing, but I could never make enough money doing that consistently. What, because people don't have dirty enough cars or you just can't be asked To cover my rent. Uh, there had to be something I was good at. Talk, so talking bollocks? Is there a fucking... Is there a job you could do where you just literally drivel on for fucking an interminable, fucking life-threateningly dull amount of time? Something where I could give value to the world that I was actually passionate about. And that's when I received a text message from one of my lady friends, Amber. Oh, oh, oh God. Mm. Mm hmm One of my lady, one of my lady friends, Amber. Yeah. Vagina hurts. Lusty mook tits and jugs. That said, hey babe, what you up to? And that's when I had my money making epiphany. I could fucking, you know, get, I could make porn with her. You see, Amber was a girl I met at the grocery store. Got her number and have been having some fun with her ever since. Okay, what's this? What's this? Fun? What, what, what is this? F what the fucking hell is this shit? What's this punctuating in the fucking air? Fucking, fucking... Every time I see... Whenever I see someone doing this incorrectly, I just feel the only way to punish them is by doing every other form of punctuation. Like, it's by responding, going, yeah, yeah I said, darling, yeah. You said what? You know. <laughs> and she was just one of many, many girls. Ma my many, 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 like... Many, like maybe two, if you round up from one. A roster. All my guy friends. On my roster. Who says that? Who says, who, who describes the women they know as a roster? Would always ask me. How the hell do you pull so many girls so easily? I don't think they ask it like that, do they, Adrian? I believe they ask that question, but they ask it in a more incredulous way. Like, how the hell do you pull so many women? I mean... Ugh. How many blind, deaf masochists could there possibly be in your local area? I would simply smile, shrug my shoulders and say, I have no idea, I just sort of do my thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is when I really... They've all got gonorrhea. ...realise that I do have a skill. And not just a skill, but a skill that we... You just literally said you don't know how you do it. If you just do... If something just happens, but you don't know how you do it then it's not a skill, it's just dumb fucking luck. Valuable to other people, which is the key. So, while well, I could never go to school to... So you could teach other fucking emaciated, weedy pieces of shit like you how to get women that are way above their station. 
be a dentist or a surgeon per se. Per, per se? Per se? Who's Percy? Who's per se? I couldn't be a surgeon or a dentist per se. Per, per who? Per, who's Percy? I guess you could just call me the love doctor. Oh, for fucks. Excuse me. I need a fucking... No, no. N no, he didn't. T tell me you did. No, tell me you did not just say that. But the love doctor. Dr. G. Adrian G. The love doctor. I know he does, mate. I know. It doesn't matter. Both his stories are bullshit. I know, I know, like, the, the last video, he'd, he'd already done this two years prior, when he went out with that fucking, you know, that, that woman who looked like some other woman I've never heard of on steroids, whatever the fucking hell she was. That woman who did what every woman and human being should ever do who meets this cunt, just laugh at him and walk away. Yeah. But that's the contempt this guy has for his audience and for any people. He's like, he's got two videos that are still on his website that are literally telling two different versions of reality that are. You know, that cannot both be true at the same time, but he doesn't care. You know? you know, I get that reaction with a lot of the women I've gone out with. People are like, how did you end up with a woman who who looks like that, and I'm like, well, you know, I'm, well, I've got no money, no fame, status or power, you know, you know just personality and a huge knob, I suppose, I don't fucking know, who, who gives a shit, it's their problem, I don't ask them, I don't ask questions. Because I was as good at picking up chicks as any man walking. And he even filmed it, you know, this is, to this totally is real, yeah, look at him outside the yacht club, right. Okay, look at her fucking, she's got a fucking big old pair of tits on her. Anyway, um, sorry. Um, I mean, oh, she, she, mm, whatever. Earth. But the thing is. Just a camera, just, just two feet behind him, you know. No. To totally real. I don't think this guy has ever filmed him. I don't think this guy has ever appeared on camera and had everything, uh, and ever done anything genuine ever. Everything about he's you know he's got that Orini esque quality where everything is manufactured. While I had all the knowledge and secrets in the world on how to help guys pick up women, all the knowledge and secrets you just said you didn't know how you did it, so you had no knowledge. You know you're like a geezer who just wins the lottery every fucking four weeks. Like how do you do it? <laughs> There was still no way I could create my own product and package it within two weeks before I was out on my ass from this eviction notice. Mm-hmm. So... Come on. There was just simply no way. So what I did was head over to an internet marketing message board and ask them for advice on how to make money using my dating advice talents and make money fast. And that's when a senior member suggested that I sell someone else's product, who has already took the time to, to make it, another dating guru per se. So what I did was search for other decent dating products, created a blog where I could give away my own personal tips and secrets on picking up women, and then add the other guru's products to my blog. If I sell the product for the other guru, I would get 75% commission for making the sale, and they would get the other 25% since they own the product. It's a win for me, and a win for him. He gets 100% free sales that don't cost any advertising dollars, 
And I get to make money using my passion without having to create my own product. So I rush to get the blog set up within about two to three days and then add the product. Now that I had a pretty decent looking blog, I start looking to find a way to get people to visit the website. So what I did was simply promote the blog using my current Facebook page and asking a couple of my buddies to do the same on their page. After the first day, I could see myself getting visitors, people reading the posts, even liking it, but no sales were coming in. 87 likes and not one sale. What gives? I'm done. I'm just, I can't. Like, just, that's how I'm ending. No, there's, I'm a sh there's more. There, I can't, I just, in one go, it's not fucking possible, right? You know, I know that I have violated, you know, I know Adrian said at the start, he said, Richard, you know, well, not, he didn't say my name, um, but, you know, but he was talking to me, I mean, because I feel like we're brothers at this point, you know, um, um, obviously, you know, distanced, ginger-haired stepchild sort of thing, uh, but he, he said, make it to the end of this, I can't, I can't make it to the end. I'm a guy, I'm a guy who completed an entire marathon in one go, right, with fucking, you know, with paralysed feet and fucking leg braces, right, with, with seven months training, and I, and I completed a marathon and didn't even come last. I cannot watch more than half an hour of that fucking just abomination, right, of, of you know, whatever, the, whoever or whatever the fuck he, I cannot fucking manage it. Right? I have had big fucking hooks this big pierced through the skin on my back on my shoulders on my legs and above my ankles and i have had those hooks attached to the ceiling and pulled and i've been swinging through the air hanging from my skin on purpose right right and i i lasted longer doing that than i could watching this fucking cunt right that that's that's the level, right? But that's what, it, that's how bad and terrible that man is. Right. And I make no apologies. You can find it, your fucking, you can, you know, that video is on the internet somewhere, right? Search it out at your own fucking peril. Delete your search history.